Well guys, what's going on? It's JB here with another episode of the Burnley Career Mode and uh, well, it's the penultimate episode of the second of the second season and we've got Aston Villa away from home at Villa Park. What a season it's been and things couldn't be any more tighter at the bottom of the table. Burnley on 81 points, we're 14 points ahead of second place and we can't really be caught now. It's, it's an open and shut case practically. But for Aston Villa, it's last day Brickman shit for them. Win against us at Villa Park in this episode. They will probably stay up at the expense of a couple of other teams. West Brom are right down there. Leicester City are right down there. Crystal Palace and Huddersfield uh, and Watford are not out the woods yet. I think Huddersfield have done enough to stay in the division. Wolves definitely safe. Arsenal definitely safe. But from Watford down... Woods, any any five could go down into that last place. Norwich and Stoke already down, but who will join him? Will it be Villa, West Brom, Leicester, Palace or Watford? Well, let's see what happens at Villa Park as the Chorus look to end their season with a flourish and send Villa down with them. Let's go to Villa Park to find out what really happened. Well, the sun is shining here at Villa Park for the last game of the season. A game that Aston Villa of course need to win but Stutz's lads will want to end with a real flourish here on this last day of the season as they prepare for a big European night in the early next month. As for now it's all about completing the league programme. John Stutzy knows they'll win away. Golini starts in goal for Villa and then it's a back forward with Dalat, Chester, Moore and Amani. And then it's Grealish, Yarenek and Whelan along the midfield. Jack Grealish is a very good young talent. The poor Kodja and Banyardson up front. And they've got Hulahan, Elphick and Organ amongst the substitutes. As for the Clarets, the lineup as follows. Tom Eaton in goal. Across the back, Trippier, Shawcross, me and Taylor. The usual back four. And then it's Gray, Hughes, Defoe and Shirley. So the, the best midfield four for the job. Ings and Malatelli, the big strike four. So Burnley... Showing no mercy to Aston Villa here because they've picked a team strong enough to do the job. So away we go. Villa in the claret and blue. Attacking the goal to our right. The north stand end. The written world end. Villa attacking the goal to our right. Burnley in the light blue shirt. Attacking the alt end. Here's Hughes. Now Delat. Whelan. Ray, winning it well, the four. And here's Eggs. Good early start here from the Clarets, and he smashed it into the old end, and it's behind for a goal kick. Villa can ill afford to give chances like that away. This is the four to Hughes. Looking towards Ings. Hughes again. Balotelli turns well. Picks out Ings. Good try. Oh, he's in the inside of the post, and it's somehow come out. And here comes Sher on the break. And he's gone down. It's a penalty. Referee had no doubts. Richard Alat will probably get a ticking off from the referee. Looked a clear cut decision. Sher is certainly brought down. But I think the lat maybe will feel a tad unfortunate. And the decision is a penalty. Here comes the penalty. 1 0. Danny Ings takes the penalty and sends the Clarets into raptures and sends Villa ever so slightly now towards the relegation trapdoor and back into the into the championship next season. Full cool penalty sends Galini the wrong way. Villa Park held its breath. Danny Ings didn't hang around to hold his. Just find the net. And Danny Ings gets his 23rd goal of the season. And Burnley lead after 25 minutes. Grealish. Codger. It's a good ball by him looking for the walls to Paul. And he's got in behind. Chance in there and it's wide. As we see again, Danny Ings... Taking this penalty again with great economy and great skill. Sending the keeper the wrong way. It's a cool penalty. 
Back to the Villa corner. The ball to take. 32 minutes of the game gone. And not in the way. Benelli as far as Whelan. Whelan over the top. At the moment, the way things are, it's not going to be Villa's afternoon. Got well underneath that left footed drive and over into the stand it went. So we're all set for the second half in the sunshine at Villa Park as this second half kicks off Villa. Need to score in the next 45 minutes, otherwise, it's curtains for them as a Premier League club. Because what anyone else does, Tamari Gray, good save. Well, that would have settled the issue there and then. And in the end, it was a good tackle, a good save from the keeper, Galini, I should say. Here's Higgs, Balotelli up ahead. Higgs has shot off the post. And somehow it's cleared away by Chester. And Aston Villa somehow survived. Danny Ings striking that beautifully, but pings back off the upright. Now Whelan. Jonathan Codger now. DePaul from Grealish. Grealish and Codger waiting in the middle. And DePaul went alone. And Grealish turns hands on hits. Very upset about that. And Yerinek comes off. And Conor Hurahen, the former Barnsley man, will come on for Aston Villa here in his second half. He's going to have a corner. Off comes DeFour. They're going to be saving him up for the European Cup final now. Jack Cork will come on. So DePaul's corner kick. Easy for Tom Heaton. It was just... It was fiddlers on the roof stuff, that. And here's Inks. Plenty of space to run into. We would be tempted to go to the corner flags, although it's a little early to do so. Cross comes in, deflected. It will break here for more. To Grealish. To DePaul. Whelan. Codger. Grealish. And they're going for the equaliser here to get themselves back in the relegation hunt. But Yardson's in there. Kodge is in there. And that was the chance to make it 1-1. But he hit it wide. And Yardson off and Green on. And Tom Davis will come on for Burnley to replace Will Hughes. Kodja. The ball back to Kodja. Good stop by Ben Mee. And that would have put Villa right back in it. Chester now. Miller throwing men forward, Kodjev, but again, Shawcross in the way. Davis to Hughes. Six minutes to go. Villa still fighting for their Premier League existence. Headed back across, and still not away yet. Now Green. Green stocks the crosser back, and over the top from Chester. And that could be curtains for Aston Villa. With regards to their Premier League life. As Damari Gray comes off. Boy, he would have enjoyed today as a former Birmingham City man. Nicholas Lee comes on for three more minutes at the end of the season. This is Ings. And Balotelli, the Villa defence, caught absolutely square. Split down the middle. And it's 2-0. And Balotelli will finish the season for Burnley with a real flourish. The league champions go two up. Super goal. Galini beating the mile. And Villa are going now to the championship. Without any shadow of a doubt. What a finish from Balotelli. A nice way to finish. 12th this season in the league for him. But for Aston Villa. It's, I'm afraid it's not great news. Because as things stand, they're going to join Norwich and Stoke next season in the Championship. And there goes the whistle. Burnley finished with 84 points in their 38 games. That's for where they stay on 39. And will be relegated alongside Stoke City and Norwich City, who were already down beforehand. Burnley finishing with a real flourish. Danny Ings. With a number one, 23 goals this season in the league. What a performance from him. And Burnley end the season with a real flourish. The league champions have gone to Villa Park and have not just beaten them, relegated them by two goals to nil. Well, that's the 
Well, that's what we've won. 173 million pounds. Unbelievable. Well, 173 and a half million pounds. It's been an amazing, amazing season. So we've finished top with 84 points. We'll confirm the league table as well. We're just doing a bit of training there, as you can see. But, uh, well, we've had a great season. We've retained the league. The only disappointment really has been we couldn't get to the, all the way to the FA Cup final. But we'll tell you who won, wins that in due course. And I can tell you very much so that uh, our next match will be against Barcelona. And what a match that really does promise to be in terms of a finish to the season that really will could have its dream ending really for the Clarets in the end. No problems at all. Top scorer was Danny Ings with the 23 goals in the league. A real, a real leader of many was, and certainly a goal scorer to really be feared. He gets the golden boot then with 23 goals. And there's the, there's the proof, and he looks very menacing in that pose, doesn't he? Uh, the goalkeeper of the tournament, not surprisingly, is the captain Tom Heaton. He kept a lot of clean sheets. He made some good saves when he needed to. Terrific performance. And I'm sure there's a few Clarets players in the team of the competition awards. Which we'll get on to very, very shortly. That's the Premier League review. I don't think we need to know that. Maybe have a look at the team of the competition. I'm not sure. But uh, great performance, really. Uh, as I say, Villa have actually been relegated. That's official now. Uh, so they're back in the championship after one season back in the in the big time. Jimenez has been announced as a player of the competition. Eaton, me, Trippier, Sciola, Lafour and Ings have all made the Premier League team of the season. And that is that, really, for that this episode. The penultimate episode this season. Our final episode, and what a thrill it could be. The European Cup final, Burnley against Barcelona in Madrid. And what a final this promises to be in early June. I hope you can join me for that one as the season comes to a dramatic climax. But for me, JB, take care. I'll see you for the European Cup final. Bye-bye. <laughs>